Referred to under the program cover name of Large Salmon, the development of anti-shipping missiles was a major innovation by the Germans in the Second World War. Of the two types developed, the most employed in combat was the HS-293, an example of which is seen here being mounted on the underside of a Heinkel 111 for testing purposes. The second anti-shipping weapon was known as the Fritz X, but unlike the HS-293, was an unpowered radio-guided bomb. It had to be released from a much higher altitude than the 293. The origin of the HS-293 missile came in 1939, when a Dr. Herbert Wagner produced designs which were employed by the Henschel Company to create their remote-controlled gliding bomb. In the following year, steps were taken to develop prototypes, and much work was carried out on radio control systems. By May 1940, the first airborne tests were planned, employing a modified HE-111 as a carrier aircraft. Unguided tests preceded the first remote-controlled firings. The second of these is seen here in this film. Having been launched, the missile is guided towards the target by the observer using a joystick. This transmitted signals to the missile which controlled its passage through the air. The test was considered a success. Nineteen forty three saw the HS two nine three deployed on HE one one sevens with KG forty in the anti shipping role operating out of Bordeaux Merignac. It could carry up to three missiles. The long span two one seven K two was specially developed to enable it to carry either the HS two nine three or the Fritz X, although the earlier DO two one seven E four was able to carry a single HS two nine three on an outer wing pylon. One of the more bizarre roles for which the Heinkel 111 was employed was that of a launcher for the V-1 missile. The 20 modified bombers served with the third Staffel of KG-3 flying out of Holland. No fewer than 410 V-1s were launched in this fashion, and these were directed mainly at London, Southampton and Gloucester from July 1944 onwards.